Alright, first up is a blog post from Rada Visser. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. This blog post actually came out a little bit ago, but I wanted to get it into the roundup. I think it's a great blog. It's about the fact that Patrick brought up that he loves pie charts. This was done in a video he did a few weeks back, and Rod basically went through and said, no, no pie charts, and had a great blog post explaining why that was the case. I don't think that swayed Patrick at all, but you can check out the blog post down in the description below and tell me what you think. All right, my buddy Casper's got a blog post on using direct query from Power BI. How many show of hands are using direct query? I know you are. He talks about just being mindful about using direct query and being aware of some of the limitations or pitfalls that you may run into when using this. Be very thoughtful about your approach of using this and spend time to make sure you get the maximum ROI out of it. Otherwise, if you just start up Power BI Desktop, connect with direct query and expect amazing performance, you may be a little disappointed. So check out the blog post, link down in the description below. He also links to a white paper about analysis services using direct query. It is relevant to this conversation, so check that out as well. Another month, another Power BI desktop update. The December update came out earlier this week, and it has a bunch of features. Probably the biggest feature that most people are talking about is Q&A capabilities inside of Power BI desktop. In your report. That's pretty cool when you think I can just, in my report, double click, ask a question, and boom, visual. It's pretty cool. There were also improvements to the bookmark feature, including cross highlighting. There's also field properties and a way for you to add field descriptions to your model. Amanda also calls out a bunch of new custom visuals that are available. There's also updates for data connectors and analytics as well. So check out the link down in the description below to the blog post for the December desktop update for all of the features. There's a blog post highlighting the service features that happened in October and November. There were a lot of items that came, some of which you may like is selective items for your apps. So it's a way to select whether or not you want the dashboard reports inside of the app when you go to publish it. There was also the announcement of the Azure AD B2B capabilities for the Power BI service now that you can take full advantage of. And some other interesting items were the ability to add email subscriptions to your apps to get notified, as well as updates for the gateway, which include a single sign-on by using Kerberos for direct query connections. So if you wanna see all the updates that occurred in October and November, check out the blog post down below for all of the items. Another announcement this week was the addition of larger data sets for Power BI. This is something a lot of people have been waiting for. This is tied to the premium features. So if you have premium capacity, you can absolutely add larger data sets to Power BI. So the default right now is one gigabyte. This allows you to go beyond that up to potentially 10 gigabytes in size for your data sets. This is compressed data. There's a link in the blog post to an official doc which outlines what is actually available. For example, if you have a P1, you can go up to a three gig data set. And if you have a P3, you can go up to a 10 gig data set. So check out the docs in order to figure out where you fall, depending on which SKU that you actually have purchased of premium. And then rejoice that you can have larger data sets in Power BI now. And if you're not using premium or you want something bigger than 10 gigabytes, definitely take a look at Azure Analysis Services. This can ab absolutely get you to a larger data set as well. All right, what was your favorite item? Go and leave it down in the comments below and let me know. For me, I gotta go with Q&A inside a desktop. I love Q&A, it's an awesome feature, and I hope this enables more people to actually use that feature. Although the pie chart blog was very interesting and entertaining, I like that as well. All right, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button for more great videos from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Man, I can't breathe in that thing. <laughs>